rock steady at King of the Pit TV. There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV, Dole Q, track number 10 of 15. Easy ride from here on out. We've got what? Five tunes to listen to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should I say? I always get confused because I look at what number we're on, 10 or 15. You'd think, all right, we've got five tunes. But 15 isn't the end of the line. 15 goes on to 16. But 16 doesn't exist. So you know where I'm coming from. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I've been here before. Come on now, Dole Q. Life on the dole is no fun. Yeah, I've spent plenty of my time on the dole, people. Working class, poverty stricken through and through. Don't let the little charity shop three pound number make you think any different, yeah? I've learned the art of perception, all right? The short-mindedness of the human being, eh? Hmm. Plain and simple message. Thing being, what's the alternative to life on the dole? Going and getting a job and working a nine to five to somebody you don't like. That's not very punk rock, is it? You see that? It's one way or the other with the punk rock uh, unit, unless you're, you know, independent to the degree where you can establish your own business. But then again, where's the boundaries and limitations as far as, um, you know, legitimate business as a punk rocker is concerned? These are the philosophical questions we might have to ask sometimes, you know. A lot of my friends down on the ass on dole have a good time doing it. Have a good time doing it. You know what I mean? Benefits is all right when you're younger. But I think when you grow up a little bit, I don't know, as a young man, you know what? We're not going to go into it. We're not going to go into it. But good punk rock creates, you know, good response. Not that I had a good response, but I had a thought provoked in reaction to this tune in particular. Bruh, I've been there on and off the dole in my time. Come on now. Exploited by me army coming up next, track number 11. By me army! <laughs> 